What is up, my nerds? Welcome back. We're gonna put a fan on. That's right, I'm gonna pop open a brand new XR10 Pro G2. This is the Elite version, and we'll talk about some of those differences. And I also have this super sweet accessory fan that goes on there for more heating and cooling. No, more, more cooling stuff. Now, get asked all the time, what's the difference between the Elite version and the regular version of the XR10 Pro G2? And the only difference are the pre-installed wires and the fact that the Elite does not come with the uh, external switch and the color of the speed control itself. It has this cool gray gunmetal color instead of the normal black. So normal XR10 stuff comes in there. Got a harness for the programming devices. Got an extra cooling fan, some shrink or tubing. The best friend in the whole wide world, the instruction manual. If you ever get confused, there's the, all the settings are listed in here. It's great. You get some sweet Hobbywing stickers, as well as this uh, button that updates your LCD programming boxes you need. A couple of my best friends, zip ties. You guys know I love zip ties. And then this comes in this sweet plastic blister pack. And I usually try to get these out of here by pushing on the bottom. But this is the XR10 Pro Elite Electric Blue Edition. It has this very sweet blue highlight here and that crisp, clean, silver gunmetal style case. I'm, a, I'm kind of a, a little bit of a fan. Of course, I'm biased, but you know how that goes. The black fan upgrade, and it's, you know, it's gonna clash a little bit, but I'm not super worried about that. I just wanna see how cool this is and how it all goes on. So, this, so it comes with a beefy fan mount, and what that does is it mounts on to the current heat sink, and then allows you to put this bigger fan on. So the Elites do come with the smaller size wire, and they do not have the solder posts that the wire is attached to. They just have the wire soldered directly into the board. They are different color, and they do not come with the remote mountable external switch. This guy slides over top like that. You put these little, it comes with four screws all together. There's two small ones and two big ones. The two small ones go on the inside. Stock fan screws were a 1.5 millimeter wrench. These adjuster or the adapter ones are a two mil wrench. It's good times. So what this is allowing us to do, it's adding a little bit of surface to the edge of the heat sink, but it's also still exposing all the insides and letting a lot of air flow out of here. It's essentially just giving us a nice place to mount this super duty, or this larger fan. And you can see here, the differences in size. It's quite a bit bigger. 25 by 20 fan, this is a 30 by 30 fan. Set this up so the wire's on the outside and then screws and screws. Now, one of the, the pro tips that I like to do always is run a fan guard. That way, when the fan's bouncing up and down, it doesn't pop all the way out and you can kind of protect the fan from you know stuff hitting it. I take a piece of zip tie, I cut it to the length that's here and I drill two little holes in it and I feed those screws through. And it just allows you to have like a really simple kind of fan protector that helps this guy stop moving around a ton, bouncing up and down and causing headaches. make my zip tie modification look fancy. If you wanted to get real cool about it, you could bend it first so that it makes a little point to go down, but usually this is kind of all you need to do to give it a little help. And then these screws are the 1.5s, as far as the wrench goes. The diameter of the threads, these are all two mil screws. Now, what is nice is that if you have access to like, let's say the SCT fan guard, that guy's already the right size. So if you got one of these beefy guys, you can slap that guy on there as well to go along with it. But if not, you can make something simple like this to just give the fan a little bit of extra protection. When you land upside down, what'll happen, the fan will come flying out of there and stop working. This will keep it in there, which is what you want. All right, so I'm gonna plug the fan in. It's keyed, so kind of, you gotta make sure you line that up. In. I like to twist the wires so they don't move around a ton or give them less opportunity to get hung up on stuff. But you can't twist them too tight because that's bad too. And then I'm going to put the wire 
on this edge to keep it away from a programming port. Those are the ones that you get to use. Fan still spins nice and free. It's on there nice and snug. And now you got, look at how much bigger that is over the stock fan. You got a 30 millimeter fan versus a 25 millimeter fan. So nice big beefy upgrade. And well, that's going to do it. A uh, quick upgrade to your top of the line model speed control. Heat sink upgrade should work on any of the XR10 Pro models. It basically just sits right on top of the factory heat sink, allows you to bolt a bigger fan right on there and still retains tons and tons of airflow. If you do have any questions, comments, and or concerns, shoot us an email, North America at hobbywing.com. Thanks for watching.